Captain Tsubasa Rise of New Champions comes out on PC, PS4 and Switch on the 28th of August. Whether you're a fan of the classic manga and anime series or if it's brand new to you, this is an exciting arcade football game with something for everyone. However, if you're expecting a football game like the ones you already know, you're in for a bit of a surprise. That's why we're here to help teach you the basics so you're ready to hit the pitch on the 28th. For this first video, let's go over the basic controls and mechanics. Firstly, the buttons. We'll be using the PS4 as an example, and do bear in mind, this is in practice mode, which is why the clock isn't moving. When you have possession, X is a short pass, circle is a long pass, and triangle is a through ball. For those last two, you can hold the button to kick the ball further. Square shoots the ball, and again, you can hold it to kick further. Hold the button long enough to activate special shots with some particular players, but we'll go into more detail on that in a future video. Press and hold R1 to dash dribble and press R2 for a dribble move. Again, we'll go into this more in the next video. Holding L1 modifies some shots and the D-pad lets you choose between four preset tactical formations. L2 is used for something called V-Zone, a power-up that we'll talk about in a future video. On to defense. Hold X to run toward the player with possession or hold square to have another player on your team approach the player with possession. Dash into opponents with R1 to tackle them, or you can do a sliding tackle with R2 or circle, your choice. Pressing L1 switches the player you're controlling and will always favour players closer to the opponent with possession of the ball. So far, kind of sounds like a regular football game, right? But that's just the beginning. The spirit gauge is a gauge all players have that is depleted when they take certain actions. Dashing, tackle moves, special shots, and saves are some of the things that use up the spirit gauge. It recharges over time for all players except the goalkeeper. The lower your spirit gauge, the longer it will take you to charge up shots, and if it's too low, you won't be able to dash or perform those special maneuvers. As we've seen already, you can hold square to charge up shots, but this also works when the ball is in the air. Cross the ball into the box and hold square to have your players go for either a header or an aerial kick. Depending on the player, these can be special charge shots like on the ground. However, if two opposing players go for a mid-air ball at the same time, you get a clash. Mash the buttons as hard as you can to come out on top and take a shot towards goal. The spirit gauge works a bit differently for the goalkeeper. Every time he saves a shot, his gauge goes down and it only recharges at half time or after he lets a goal in. Wearing down the opponent's goalie until he lets in a shot is a huge part of being successful in Captain Sivasa. So, pay close attention to your player's spirit gauges at all times. The more gauge a player has, the longer he'll be able to maintain possession because of the dash dribble and dribble move maneuvers. We'll be going over two extremely important moves, the dash dribble and the dribble move. Essentially, both are different maneuvers you can perform to avoid being tackled, but you've got to choose well because each one can be beaten by different moves from the opponent. If you have the ball, you hold R1 to dash dribble. This lets you run faster until your spirit gauge runs out. It also lets you sprint past anyone trying to slide tackle you with R2. However, if the opponent sprints into you with R1 while you are doing the same, they'll take the ball. Basically, when you have possession, R1 beats the opponent pressing R2, but loses to the opponent also pressing R1. Alternatively, you can spend some spirit gauge to do a dribble move with R2, which will dash around any defenders sprinting at you with R1. However, it will lose if they tackle with R2 themselves. Essentially, both the attacker and the defender have two options, and each one beats one of the other. When you have the ball, R1 beats R2, and R2 beats R1. When you're defending, R1 beats R1, and R2 beats R2. Pay attention to what the other player does, and press the right button at the right time. A combination of good predictions and keen reactions will take you far.
we'll be discussing special combination moves you can do with particular characters. If you're familiar with the manga or anime, you'll be familiar with these players, but if you're new, you'll learn to know them before long. There are several special combination plays you can perform if you have the right players in the right spot. For example, when you have Tsubasa and Misaka running up the pitch together and one of them has the ball, hold triangle until the bar is full to perform an amazing combo pass move. Keep tapping triangle in time to get past the entire opposing team in no time at all. The only way for the opposing player to beat this is with an extremely well-timed dash into the path of the ball. There are also defensive plays that happen automatically if you have the right players in the right places. A brave defender can get in the way of a shot and stop it before it becomes an issue. That's not all, there are combination shooting moves too. Here's an example, if the ball is centred into the penalty area and the Tachibana brothers are there, hold square to perform the amazing Skylab Hurricane, just like real life. Why kick the ball with one foot when two is literally 100% more feet? With two compatible players near each other, charge up a shot and watch the sparks fly. Here's another one, the Hirado combination. If Jito makes a shot from the back lines and Sano is in the right position, he'll change the course of the ball with his head and slip it past the keeper. Experiment to find all the different special combination moves in the game. V-Zone is a power-up that affects your entire team. You'll see the V-Gauge building up along the bottom of the screen as you play. When it's full, you can activate it at any time that you have possession by pressing L2. When it's active, your spirit gauge will last longer and recharge quicker. In addition, shots charge faster so you can be even more aggressive. You can't activate V-Zone if you don't have the ball, but there is one thing you can do if you have a full gauge. When the opponent takes a shot, if your V-Gauge is full, you can press L2 to do a super save that ensures they will not score. This is perfect to use as a last ditch attempt when your goalie spirit gauge is depleted. Make sure you keep an eye on your V-Gauge and use it when it's full. There's no use sitting on a full gauge for an entire match. That concludes our week of Captain Tsubasa Rise of New Champions tutorials. Hopefully you learnt something and you'll be ready to hit the pitch on PS4, PC and Switch on 28th of August.